This morning on The Dish, a twist on tacos in this unassuming strip mall location. It's what Chef Victor Albisu came up with when he created his first Taco Bamba Taqueria in suburban Washington, D.C. And his blending of ingredients from around the world proved wildly popular, winning over diners, winning multiple industry awards, and leading to almost a dozen locations in the Washington area and now well beyond. Our Nancy Chin dropped by for a taste. In this quiet suburban strip mall, a redefinition of Mexican street food. Can you put anything in a taco? No. <laughs> Victor Albisu is the chef and owner of Taco Bomba and says there's no time to waste in leaving an impression. It's a kind of a, almost like this holy opportunity that you have to give somebody just a, a, a wonderful experience with a few bites. Those bites include fried fish squidding tacos, carne asada tortas with a beef frank, egg rolls stuffed with three meats, and even a calamari ceviche with a tropical twist. This coconut milk is amazing. They're inspired in part by Albisu's Peruvian roots, his wife's Lebanese heritage, and the diverse neighborhoods surrounding his 10 restaurants. So that's a chipotle kind of uh, seared uh, portobello mushrooms with heart of palm, a little lime, garlic. It's all kinds of good stuff. Yes, it's very bold. Very bold, that's a good, <laughs> that's a good way of, yeah. I like Well, we it. do say prepare your mouth here. And there's quite a lot to prepare for. While there are a select few recipes on every menu, the majority are specific to each of Taco Bamba's locations with hundreds of combinations between them. That's the Taco Bamba. Oh, the Taco Bamba. That's the one that started it all. It has uh, grilled uh, steak, chorizo, chicharrones, cheese, pickled onions, grilled guacamole on it. Grilled guacamole? Yeah. I didn't know you could grill guacamole. Yeah, you just slather it on the grill. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you grill the avocado. Okay. <laughs> I get everybody on that. I'm just, I've been doing that for 10 years. That's when Albisu created the first Taco Bamba, an unexpected detour for a chef who had trained at Le Cordon Bleu, worked at a Parisian Michelin three-star restaurant, and started his own. Del Campo, an acclaimed fine dining experience in D.C. that became an Obama favorite. Instead, he opened a standing only strip mall taqueria in Falls Church, Virginia. This is the original location. Yes, the OG. When you opened this place, I heard you didn't even want to attach your name to it. Yeah, at the time it was, um, this was not the level, I guess, in my mind that I wanted to be known for. And you chose this location because? It's right next to my mother's uh, bodega, Plaza Latina, her Latin market. Turns out, Taco Bamba wasn't entirely happenstance. The taqueria just steps from his mother's shop. Albisu started working in the family business at a young age, even making Cuban sandwiches for customers when he was 10. He called it Victor's Deli. I grew up stocking shelves, uh, cutting meat, putting prices on. All that kind of thing. How did that shape you? Well, I got to experience all of this and multicultural food, which uh, kind of changed my life. You know, I didn't realize it at the time. It was kind of a burden at the time, uh, but I, it became, it became kind of really who I am. It took a while to figure out his culinary identity. Albisu, whose parents immigrated from Peru and Cuba, studied international relations and briefly worked for a government agency before suddenly dropping out to study cooking. He says he first learned the skill from his grandfather. My grandfather um, was an amazing cook, a natural cook. He had a little um, a bakery in Cuba. He knew all about food. Right around the time I was going into college, my grandfather passed away and I cooked early on like it was a vendetta. Yeah, like my, I miss my grandfather and um, he never got to see me cook. So it was kind of this empty void that I kept cooking for. That carried me for a long time until I had to put that to bed and stop seeing my reflection in the plate and start being in service of all those around me. That sentiment propels him today and family continues to be front and center. His mom, Rosa Sosinski, still runs her shop now where Albisu commands a rather prominent position. I gotta ask you this though. I look over here yeah. on your window and you have Jesus and Victor. <laughs> 
Those are the two people that are so important in my life. <laughs> Susinski's support unwavering, even when Albisu first came to her with the idea of opening a taco shop. But you had some questions about the taqueria. Ha! Huh. Just because we, I, I mean, I never made a taco in my house. <laughs> <laughs> the first day they opened, you went over there and you had one of those tacos. What did you think? Ha! Huh. I said, here we go. This is delicious, man. That was great. It's actually, it was incredible. Her influence and handiwork evident in Taco Bamba today. Susinski's handmade chorizo is used in that signature taco we tried with secrets not even her son knows. When do I get the recipe? You'll get the recipe in my will. <laughs> <laughs> The secret's long been out about Taco Bamba, though, including from a plug by none other than Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top while he was performing in town. We've got this joint called Taco Bamba. Yeah! I've been to many concerts. I don't know how many times I've heard tacos shouted out by someone. <laughs> and then people are, like, excited about it? Yeah, that's funny. What did you think when you heard that? It was one of the more uh, surreal kind of experiences, you know, to, to have your... Uh, one of your childhood heroes, like, appreciating what you do. The two have stayed in contact, and Gibbons even lobbied for Albisu to open a Nashville location. It worked, and starts up this fall, along with more shops in North Carolina and Virginia. Albisu has hopes for more. The strip mall taqueria joint, now a gathering place for communities. I used to plate on, on beautiful porcelain plates. Yeah. People used to make fun of me for how much I, I, I garnish and how much I put into it. Every detail. Every detail. And if somebody grabbed it and moved it, you know, and something fell, it would be, it's devastating, you know? It's an ego that chefs have to have in some ways to get started. But, uh, but over time, it can turn on you. Today, Albisu says his dishes show a different image. I can't see my reflection in a paper plate, right? So we're just in service of the food. We're in service of each other. This is not about me or anybody else. It's, it's, it's about how we grow. An evolution for the young boy Gloria, who ran right. Victor's Deli serving his neighborhood once again. For CBS Saturday Morning, Nancy Chen, Herndon, Virginia. And ha! Wow. I know, you gotta love his mom, you love him, yeah. but the food, let the me food. tell you what we got here. It's yeah. gorgeous. Looking. Torta Bamba, the huge one that Nancy tried, and a veggie torta. We have sandwiches, we have um, a shroom and tinga taco, we have a chicken taco, and of course we have this Fine Corinthian so, coconut cocktail with mezcal. Awesome. So, I mean, cheers, cheers, folks. Cheers. Cheers to Taco Bamba. Yeah, cheers Taco to Taco Bamba. That was Bamba. amazing. Look at the size of this maraca here. I mean, <laughs> mm. 